Hello, I am Aysin Karakaş. I graduated from the Department of Teaching English as a Foreign Language from Middle East Technical University, Northern Service Campus, in February 2023. After my graduation, I started to look for a job, and when I saw your job advertisement on LinkedIn, I decided to apply to your institution to work as an English teacher. Therefore, today I will be answering your interview questions, but before starting, I would like to mention myself briefly. Starting from my childhood, I like the idea of teaching something to somebody else. And I'm happy when I see that I am teaching people something. And when this desire of mine was combined with my fun personality and with my interpersonal communication skills, I decided to evaluate my desire in working with students and children. Therefore, I decided to study English language teaching at university to improve my teaching skills better. We can start the interview now. The first question. What strengths would you bring to this position? My strengths are primarily the fact that I am patient, energetic, talkative as you are looking for. Also, I am in love with my profession because I love teaching English to children. And my other strengths are that I can get along well with the students by talking and trying to uh, keep and keep in constant contact with them. Moreover, I can communicate uh, with the other academic staff, for example, with the other teachers in the school, to create a good uh, environment. Uh, for example, if a problem occurs in the school, I try to solve the problem by interacting with the other teachers because I'm a solution-oriented person rather than a problem-oriented person. And these are my strengths that I uh, can bring them to the English teacher position in your school. The second question. Why did you choose this profession or department? Because I love teaching English to children who are excited to learn English. And I enjoy working with them during my profession because they are very excited and it's enjoyable to work with them. Also, during my education years, I have always loved to study English because my English teachers made my English classes enjoyable. And the last reason why I wanted to be a teacher is that because my father is a teacher too and in the past I had a chance to observe how a teaching profession is. And these are my reasons uh, for choosing being an English teacher. The third question. How has your education prepared you for this position? Hmm. I started to learn English in the fourth class and from this time I have been exposed to English. And it motivated me for studying English at university. Uh, also, with the East Technical University, Northern Cyprus campus has contributed to me lots of teaching skills with the courses it provided. For example, curriculum design course, education philosophy course, educational courses, making and preparing presentation courses, and lots of micro teaching and macro teaching classes. Also, it uh, gave me an opportunity to do an internship in my senior year in Guzan Yurt Cyprus. I have completed almost 8 hours during my internship by going to a middle school in Zayert and by observing the students and the teachers. And at the end of this experience, I gained a solid experience because I had an opportunity to see how a profession, how a teaching profession is, how a teacher should be or how a teacher shouldn't be and what are the students' responses and behaviors depending on the teacher. 
And finally, I can say that it uh, gave me an excellent opportunity to see what a teacher teaching uh, profession is. And uh, finally, I can say that I did macro teaching uh, during my internship in the class and with this opportunity I could observe that uh, what a teacher should do or shouldn't do in the class while giving her lectures and I can say that my university has provided me a very excellent opportunity to see what a teaching profession is. The fourth question, what do you do outside school or work to deal with stress? I love taking time for myself because I think that if we always focus on uh, the classes, courses, uh, it, uh, it will not help us to get away from stress. Therefore, I make meditation uh, and it helps me to get away from stress and also I do pilates to get away with stress again because it helps me uh, to be in a good health and mentally at the same time so I make pilates and finally I love cooking very much and I think that while I am cooking I always forget negative thoughts about my life so it is also a relaxing activity for me to struggle with stress. And the fifth question why did you choose our company or department or institution? I have always lived in Nide, which is a small city in Turkey, of course. Uh, but now I want to live in a big city where your school is Istanbul. Uh, this is one of my reasons. Also, I like your school very much because I think that you uh, provide lots of opportunities and facilities for the students and for the teachers too. And I think that it is very important to uh, develop themselves and, uh, of course, ourselves academically and socially, both. Uh, and in my opinion, it's very crucial to you to provide these facilities because when we are motivated for the class, for the school, the success will come naturally and we will be in a good uh, interaction environment and uh, in terms of mentally, we will have a good mental health. Therefore, I think that these are very crucial uh, elements for you. And because I want to work such an environment, I chose to work in your institution. Question 6. What skills do you think are critical for the position or program? Why? I think a teacher should be concerned with her or his students because students always want attention and they want to hurt by the teacher. Therefore, a teaching profession requires one to be a good communicator. A teacher also should be patient because students always have questions and they want to be answered by the teacher. So, a teacher should be answer their questions patiently because they wait, they will wait. The other skills a teacher should have that being energetic, talkative, positive and considerate uh, because a teacher should be energetic because uh, students love energy. They don't want to see a negative teacher. And finally, a teacher should be considerate because every student has lots of different backgrounds, family backgrounds, social backgrounds, or other backgrounds. So a teacher should be careful about these uh, differences while giving her lectures. 
I think these are the most crucial skills that a, that a teacher should have. And this is the last and seventh question. What are your goals for the future? This is a very important question for me because I want to be a qualified teacher in the future. Because I want my students to be qualified in terms of English and I want them to learn English and use it in their future lives. Also, I want to be a love teacher by everyone because it is very important for me, by the way. Um, because I think that if my students love me, they will also love my class too. And finally, I want to be a successful teacher, of course, because I want my students uh, be proficient in English. My uh, questions are over here. Our interview is over here. Now I want to a couple of things before finishing my interview. Uh, this job is very important for me and I think that I have the qualified skills for this job. Uh, as I mentioned in my interview, I am patient, energetic, positive, talkative, uh, considerate, and a person who can make empathy and I have these qualifications so I am the right candidate for this job so I want to hear I want to look for you to hear that I will be chosen for this job and thank you for taking time for me today and thank you for this interview thank you <laughs> Uh, to provide me a chance to explain myself. Okay, thank you and have a good day.